Have you been asked to calculate the debt ratio for a company and you're not sure how to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that in today's video. But first, I want to say something wonderful is about to happen for you, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In this particular video, we're going to calculate a debt ratio. This is one of many ratios that are used by accountants, investors, uh, folks in finance, bankers, um, maybe real estate. They're, it's an important calculation to see how much debt a particular company or investment has. So we're going to figure that out regarding Capco Inc. Capco Inc. has the following balance sheet for the current year. So its assets have cash, accounts receivable, net. What we mean by net is that's taking out any kind of allowance for doubtful accounts. If you want to know more about allowance for doubtful accounts, I've got a video up here explaining that. So you may want to check that out. We have the inventory. We have any kind of prepaid expenses, like maybe they've prepaid rent or prepaid insurance for a particular period of time. And then we have plant assets net. Plant assets are things like buildings, equipment, things that are used to produce the income. And this is a long-term asset. And we say that it's net because that would be net of any depreciation. If you need to know more about depreciation, I've got another video that I'll link right up here that will tell you about depreciation and how to calculate it. So in this case, we've added up all of these assets and we have total assets of 6,490,000. And then our balance sheet goes on to tell us our liabilities. In this case, there's only two accounts payable, which are things that are owed and payable and long-term note payable. This might be a mortgage, something along those lines. It's a long-term debt. And that tells us our total liabilities. In, case, in this case, it's um, $3,115,000. And we then have owner's equity of $3,375,000. So this is a simplified balance sheet. You might have one that's more detailed than, than this, or maybe it's less detailed, but the calculation will be the same. So our question is asking us to calculate the debt ratio. To figure out what the debt ratio is, you need to know the formula. Well, it's a very simple formula. Our debt ratio equals our total liabilities divided by our total assets. Once we do that division, we're going to multiply by 100 because we're going to turn it into a percentage. So it's a fairly straightforward calculation. So in this case, we've got total liabilities. Our total liabilities are listed right here. Our total liabilities are $3,115,000. And we're going to divide it by our total assets. Our total assets are found right here, 6490000 thousand dollars so we're going to do the division and then we're going to multiply it by 100 thank you for the thumbs up i appreciate that that really is helpful so i'm going to pull out my trusty ba2 plus calculator if you need a calculator similar to this there's some good ones linked in the video uh, description down below so i have three million one hundred and fifteen thousand and that is our numerator i'm going to divide by six million four hundred and ninety thousand which is our denominator and get an answer of 47 0 0.47 seven nine nine and i'm going to multiply that by a hundred to turn it into a percentage and so i've got 47.996 so basically it's 48 percent so our debt ratio here is 48%. Check with uh, the problem, how detailed it wants to be, how to what decimal place it is. In this case, I rounded to a whole, um, I rounded to a whole percentage. 
And so therefore, we've calculated our debt ratio. And this is a handy thing to know, and you might need to do that in the future. And that is all I have for you today. If you found this helpful and you think somebody else could use it, go ahead and share this video with them. That's the best way to help them out, and it could help this channel grow. I really appreciate it. And if you like it and you want to learn some more of this type of things, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you.